The importance of the dismantlement of the B-53 is uh, a symbol of the transition of our nuclear enterprise. We have defended the nation's liberty, defended our freedom for decades uh, through the arsenal that uh, the B-53 formed a part of. In that arsenal, the B-53 had a unique role as the largest uh, bomb that we had. Now, uh, in the aftermath of President Obama articulating a vision of a world without nuclear weapons and calling for us to uh, make less use of nuclear weapons and use less of them, the dismantlement of this final B-53 is testimony to the seriousness of President Obama's commitment and that uh, the United States is delivering on that commitment. Uh, B-53 was put into America's stockpile in 1962. It supported the B-52G program. It was carried by the big airplanes, the B-52s. Uh, it, it is a massive weapon. It's about the size of a minivan. It weighs 10,000 pounds. And its role in the deterrent for many years, you know, for the peak of the Cold War, uh, throughout, the, throughout the 60s and the 70s, was just to have a very large uh, nuclear ordnance or a very large bomb as a part of the deterrent. So, such a terrible bomb, in fact, uh, that it would, it would uh, prevent large-scale conventional war. It is a, a significant accomplishment that shows that, that we can actually act as one in NSA, that, the, uh, uh, that when challenged we can come together as a team and overcome the technical challenges without being uh, uh, too worked up on who's, who's, the, who's the Fed, who's the contractor, uh, the design agencies, uh, when we're in a team setting, it's all about getting the work done. It's all about getting uh, the mission accomplished. And we're at our best when we do that. So 53 dismantlement effort represents a significant achievement, not only for the Pantex workforce and the fact that they were willing to step up uh, when I challenged them back in 2010 to see if they could develop a plan that would achieve this goal for NNSA. Uh, the Pantex workers were willing to step up and at the same time, we had to have the national laboratories as well as the other production sites that played a role in this dismantlement effort to support Pantex. So this was really a team effort, and the team at Pantex was willing to take the challenge and develop a plan that could be executed, providing we got the support from uh, the national laboratories and other production sites. And then we did rely heavily on the other production sites and national laboratories to support us through this effort. So this was truly a team effort for NNSA. The important part of uh, the NSA mission that the B-53 uh, fits into uh, is the part in which we are ensuring a safe, secure, and effective deterrent. We are in a very different strategic posture from what we faced during the Cold War. And in fact, President Obama's uh, leadership has led to the development of a new nuclear posture review in which for the first time we put stopping nuclear weapons proliferation and nuclear terrorism at the top of the reason why we still have our arsenal. Now the B-53 is part of a different time. During the Cold War we were looking at uh, the possibility of nuclear Armageddon, of a massive strike between the United States and the Soviet Union in which at the end of the day people talked about pounding the rubble, we would have so many bombs dropping. And to have these large uh, minivan sized bombs uh, carried by B-52s, that's part of that vision and part of that threat scenario. The threats that we face today are very, very different. And even as NNSA has been called upon by the President, by the Secretary of Defense, Secretary of Energy, to make sure that we have a modern, uh, secure and effective deterrent, the B-53 no longer plays the same kind of role that uh, was needed during those Cold War years. So as we are looking for uh, sustaining the uh, uh, second strike survivability, for example, of our W-76s that are carried on our uh, SLBMs, uh, the life extension uh, program for the W-76 is very important. As we're looking at the need to replace our old and aging CMRR and UPS facilities, recapitalization is a very important part of uh, NNSA's futures. As we look at the need to make sure we maintain the kind of scientific expertise and depth and breadth needed to keep that uh, arsenal safe, secure, and effective in a non-testing environment, we need to really invest in the scientists and the nuclear security enterprise. The B-53 is part of an older era, much more oriented toward production, much more oriented toward a vision of a possibility under the theory of mutual assured, assured destruction of, uh, of a massive nuclear exchange, far more part of our past 
uh, then hopefully part of a more modernized deterrent that we're building for the future. One thing I would tell the public about the B-53 is that although this bomb uh, served the American deterrent very well for several decades, from 1962 through 1997, I am very pleased that we're taking the last one apart. Its yield was so massive. Uh, its size, the size of a minivan, its uh, weight more than 10,000 pounds, we had to develop special training, special tooling to take this weapon system apart. And the consequence for not doing this safely would be that, that uh, people would really be hurt. So I'm pleased that we're getting the last one taken apart.